know, the losing had gotten so bad in Cleveland that the city actually threw a parade back in 1995 after the Indians lost in the World Series. But today, they get the real deal. The Cavaliers will ride through the streets of Cleveland starting at Quicken Loans Arena in the very spot that fans celebrated on Sunday night. And that's where we find joining us now, P.J. Carlesimo, live in New York City ahead of tomorrow's NBA draft. And P.J., from all accounts, the 76ers will be taking Ben Simmons. Suddenly, Cle Cleveland is, is the land of champions. Yeah. yeah. Right? Place to be. The UFC mm -hmm. superstar is going to join us to talk a little bit about the Cavaliers as they get ready for the parade. The Indians on a streak. Maybe this guy started all off in the spring. Ooh. He's going to join us. Yeah. yeah. Right? Place to be. The UFC mm -hmm. superstar is going to join us to talk a little bit about the Cavaliers as they get ready for the parade. The Indians on a streak. Maybe this guy started all off. In the spring, Amy, Ben Simmons, real quick with that. number one overall tomorrow night in the NBA draft. We're passionate. We love our team. Serena's back with us with much more. So Ben Simmons is the top pick in the draft. He will join Shaq as the only LSU player selected number one overall. With such high expectations, the real question is, what is the man going to wear tomorrow? Here he is on Fallon last night. So no, uh, no all Vlade. white, no, yeah. no Vlade. No, sharp. As long as Ben doesn't wear that sweater, I think he's going to be good. I, I was, I was waiting position. to see uh, the Jalen Rose red pinstripe. Uh, they didn't go there, thankfully, for Jalen. Keep, keep it classy, San Diego. Nice, you know, keep it black, maybe. Yes. Uh, it's, it's important to get recommendations from people, though, with experience on what to do. Thankfully, Ben Simmons has Carl Anthony Towns, Devin Booker, and D'Angelo. Started lining up yesterday afternoon. Some brought sleeping bags last night just to grab the right spot on the streets of Cleveland for the parade this morning as the Cavaliers bring a title to a city that hasn't seen one in 52 years. Of course, the Cavs did so after forcing Sunday's Game 7, but on this day back in 1994, another Game 7 took center stage. Knicks and Rockets at the Summit. I uh, missed the Summit. Hakeem Olajuwon had outscored Patrick Ewing in every game of that series so far, but Ewing's defense shone through. Carl Ravitch was on the desk for this historic Game 7. He has the highlight in our top back in the day. Cleveland, they did not throw that man, Stipe Miocic, a parade, but they did honor him. He's a Northeast Ohio native. He's a UFC heavyweight champ, and he joins us on SportsCenter AM this morning. Stipe, listen, you ended the Cleveland title curse last month. We saw you take batting practice there with the Indians. We saw you get honored uh, at a Cavaliers game, and now the Cavs are NBA champs. Can you put into words for us? What? what well, I mean, I hope I got some sunscreen because, you know, I'm kind of pasty right now. So, <laughs> well, by the way, congratulations uh, with a special weekend for the family as well for you personally. You sports fan, congrats on your success. Congrats on celebrating today and uh, have fun in that parade. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. All right. What a time. Mood lighting so here. Dramatic. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's cozy. All right. Back hey. on Sports Center AM 929 Eastern. E even if you have a great group of pitchers going on the same night, we always do this, right? Yeah. Aces taking the mound. Mm -hmm. They don't all win all the time. Something usually ruins it. Usually, right? Yeah. Uh, you can't really control everything.